Magnetic Island is known as Townsville's Playground. It's only a 20 minute ferry ride off the coast, so whether you're planning to stay for a while or just a day tripper like me, getting here is no drama. Now Maggie, as the locals call it, is a decent sized island, so if you are here for a day trip and want to explore at your own pace, forget walking and driving, I've found the newest way to get around. It might look like a normal bike, but this baby has a motor. Owner of the electric bikes business, Richard Pompney, will meet you anywhere on the island, drop off your wheels and run through everything you'll need to know. Motor running the front wheel, you're running the back wheel. Together, the two of you can cruise around the flat, take it in turns to do a bit of work. And I when like you come it. to the hills, I like straight it. up and over. And he tells me Maggie's terrain makes it the perfect place to put the two wheeled machine to the test. Magnetic Isle has mountains, is probably a good description for them. Yeah, they're Ooh. steep hills. So it gives you a lot of help as you're going up the steepest of the hills. You've still got to pedal a bit on hills, but it feels on the hills like you're riding on the flat. With only 9 k's of road, it's the ideal way to see the entire island and its attractions in just one day. First up, I'm going to stop in at the island's most popular tourist haunt, the local wildlife park, where you can get up close and personal with a croc. Crooked though. <laughs> Very light. He is. Or as I found out, a little too personal with Sarge the Python. I think he's quite a good accessory, really. I quite like him. Oh, God, he's going down my leg. What's he doing? What's he doing down there? He's getting awfully friendly. Back on the road, and once you hit the hills, you can let the battery power kick in and just keep on cruising. Unreal. See, if I was on a normal bike, I wouldn't even be able to talk right now, but this baby has got a lot of grunt. It can get up to 30 k's an hour, and you can kick it in when it counts. Three quarters of Maggie Island is National Park, and with less focus on pedalling, you'll have more time to check it out. A couple of hundred metres off the main road is a lookout over remote Arthur's Bay, which has got to be one of the prettiest views on the entire island. Now you really do appreciate what the bike can do when you put it to the test against normal pedal power. The main hub of action on Magnetic Island and a good place to have a break is Horseshoe Bay. One place I'd recommend is the Barefoot Food Art Gallery. It's a casual but stylish setup where you can check out the work of local artists and indulge in good old island hospitality. So after all my hard work, I well and truly deserve this. Mm. Artworks here are island inspired and an original Picasso sits proudly in the upstairs gallery. But best of all, directly across the road, you can get a break from the heat of the tropics and take a dip. Now I know what you're thinking, tropics, summer, stingers, but here on Maggie you can swim all year round and I've been wanting to do this all day. Horseshoe Bay is one of two spots on the island with stinger nets, so you can swim safely without any worries. Magnetic Island is about 20 minutes by ferry from Townsville in Queensland. You can hire a bike from Go Electric for 25 bucks a day. 
Virgin Blue has flights to Townsville starting at $129 from Brisbane, $149 from Sydney, $209 bucks from Melbourne, $280 from Adelaide, $310 from Perth and $315 from Darwin.